Here's how to remove noise in Avon Studio for any of your vocals or samples. When you record audio, you will also capture background noise. Now background noise ruins the quality of your clip and that's why we want to remove it. To do that you can use two strategies. One strategy is to use a noise gate. But the noise gate only removes noise before and after the audio and not within. It is very useful but not the ultimate noise reducer tool. So to remove background noise all the way throughout, let's use a denoiser. A denoiser scans your audio clip, finds the bad parts and removes any hiss, hum, rumble or unwanted noise. And this leaves you with a clean sample that you can use in your song without having to worry about quality. Now here's an example of me talking with background noise. It's most noticeable with headphones or higher volumes. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. Damn, now I hear the torture you have to go through listening to me. But if you can live with my voice and you want to make awesome songs, definitely consider subscribing. Now, uh, let's get ready to remove noise rumble. In Apple Studio, add your sample to the playlist. Then double click on it to open the sampler. On the sampler, right click on the waveform and select edit in audio editor. This will open your sample in Edison. Now Edison comes with a built-in denoiser that will do the job for us. But to make it work properly, the denoiser needs to scan a noisy part of your sample first and acquire a so-called noise profile. Now the noise profile will be used to clean up the entire clip. Maybe it can clean up the house too, so I'll update you once I know. So if possible, select a quiet part in your sample that contains only noise. Try to select the longest noise part you can find. Then right click on the toothbrush button, which is the denoise function. And by right clicking on it, you will acquire a noise profile within a few seconds. Next, select the part you wish to denoise. This is usually the entire clip. Then left click on the toothbrush to open the denoiser. Now, don't get overwhelmed by all the options, you only need a few to achieve results. So let's get this done quickly. By default, the threshold at 0 dB is a good starting point. So let's mainly use the amount. The amount simply controls how much noise will be removed from your sample. So play around with this button until your sample sounds good. To hear what your sample sounds like, press the preview button. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. Do this each time you change the amount. Thereby, if you underdo the amount, you will not remove enough noise. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. But if you overdo the amount, you can ruin the sample and get an underwater sound. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. And that's only good if you're living in a submarine, I guess. Hence, your aim is to find that sweet spot of maximum denoise without ruining your sample. A good rule of thumb is to remove just enough so that the noise is barely noticeable and not any further. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. Once you're happy, press accept. This will initiate the denoising process. Denoising can take some time depending on the duration of your sample. Though pretty soon your sample will be clean and ready. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. Now you can now save it as a WAV file by pressing the floppy disk button or send it directly to the playlist as an audio clip by pressing this button. Now let's play both my original and denoise audio clip on the playlist so you can hear the difference. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. Let me show you one of the best AI voice generator website as of today. Unfortunately it can't fix my voice, but it definitely sounds better and cleaner after noise reduction. Afterwards you can send your sample to the mixer and add effects, such as an equalizer or compressor to achieve maximum power. But those are topics for another time. But soon I might show you how to remove noise in Adobe Audition or other tools that are even better. So stay tuned and leave a comment if you have any questions.